Hello students, I hope you're doing well. Today is Tuesday, I'm excited to be reading to you. I'm a little bit annoyed because I had to make this video like four times because of my computer died in the middle of it. I'm like, eh. But I'm happy to be reading to you. And I'm excited about this book because it's kind of silly and fun. Uh, it's called Miss Spider's New Car. So this is Miss Spider and she want, um, she's trying to buy a new car. And you're going to see all the cars that she tries out and if she likes them or not. Kind of imagines if, if little tiny creatures, the insects, had their own world going on. This story, when I was young, Miss Spider became, became a book. Um, and I read some of her books, but I never read this one. Miss Spider's New Car, Paintings and Verse by David Kirk. As you're reading, you might uh, notice that the words sound a certain way, and you could write about that in your journal entry. I'm going to ask you to describe Miss Spider and Holly and how they're the same and how they're different, okay? Mom writes that we should come to tea. Let's go, Miss Spider cried. We'll hire a frog to cross the bog down to the riverside. Among the mice, we might entice a fuzzy woodland guide. That's Miss Spider's idea, and you can see Holly's face. She's imagining them on that frog. Those mice could bite you, Holly howled. The river's full of snakes. To think of you atop a frog gives me the quiver quakes. It's much too far. Let's buy a car instead, for heaven's sakes. Look how she imagines that frog. Oh, this is different. Ah! You're brilliant, dear, Miss Spider cheered. A car would be divine <gasps> with sky blue bells and silver shells, and chiming bits that shine. Oh, look over there, I do declare. That one would suit us fine. They're going right on over to Bubs, Bumbies, Buggies. She thinks she found the perfect car. Miss Spider grinned. We'll take it home. But Holly, only frowned. Wouldn't it be wise to buy would it be wise to buy the first car that we found? I'll ask the bee to wait till three so we can shop around. Wonder how Miss Spider feels leaving that car. Holly's like, over here. McMantis crooned. This honey runs on nectar from a flower. Its two stem engines is equipped with turbo bumble power and capable of reaching speeds near 90 yards per hour. The next car. 90 miles, 90 yards per hour. Is it? <gasps> Poor Holly shrieked, it's much too fast. Please look out where you're going. There might be hungry rats down there. We have no way of knowing. How fine it is, Miss Spider laughed. Ha ha ha, to feel my toppy blowing. So you can start thinking, how are they different? How would you describe Miss Spider and how would you describe Holly? How are they different? Slick tail the snail, said Holly. Call this gem, calls this gem the yes car go. So now they're at slick tail speedsters. He calls this gem the yes car go. It looks all sleek and spirally, but rides so nice and slow. Looks from that sails snail 
said Mrs. Spider. Looks familiar, don't you know? The last car was too fast. Holly says this one's a better car. Hop Daddy's Hop Rods. The wheel is out of date, whooped Holly, just like a dinosaur. Are flexo spring loaded legs are what you're looking for. Just pull the round brown throttle down and hear that engine roar. Look at that. That's a lot of smoke. I don't know. Holly's like. Meg's wings and things. Why travel on the public road? Such trouble that it brings. The bumps and holes, the toads and moles, the snakes and rats and things. It's only sense, Meg Mayfly bragged, to buy this car with wings. Look at this spider looks happy, but how does Holly look? Way, way, way far above the trees. Super Sid's flaming values. Hmm. It's almost three now. <coughs> Holly ha coughed. We really ought to go. I'm certain, dear, the first car was by far the nicest one. Just try this dream, Skid Skipper schemed, and then you shall be done. Can you tell what it's made of? It says here, caution, handle with care. The springs are shot. Miss Spider moaned. I bounce with every bump. The steering wheel's locked. The brakes won't work. No matter how I pump, that tree is getting awfully close. I think we'd better jump. That's not the car for them. Miss Spider wailed. They'll sell my car. It's nearly half past three. Then Holly spied a dozing moth. Sleepy moth. And whispered secretly, Excuse me, Sue, but do you think, could you do a courtesy for me? Oh, where's my car, my lovely car? She blew her nose and cried. A moth paid cash and drove it home, but Bumblebee replied. I'm sorry, ma'am. Indeed I am. Me too, Miss Spider sighed. The car she wanted at the beginning is gone. Here, a moth, but upon Mrs. Spider's lawn, oh, what a dazzling sight. Proud Holly beamed, Moth Sue came through, the way I hoped she might. You knew it from the first, my love, that little car's just right. That is a really nice car. Beneath the door, upon the floor, Miss Spider found a note. Another message from my mom. I wonder what she wrote. It says, Moms or Bust. Near the driving. Another message from my mom. I wonder what she wrote. What fun! She wants to take us both out shopping for a boat. Oh my gosh, maybe that's the next book. 
The end. All right, students, so that's the end of today's Read Lab. I want you to try your best to go on Google Classroom. I'm going to try to make a video to show you how to do it. Um, even if you only have a phone, you could still get on Google Classroom and say hello and talk to your classmates and stuff like that. Um, I miss you all so much. I'm sending you a big hug. And I hope you're staying safe and helping out your family.